It determines what's shown to us on YouTube. So it determines what we see and what we don't see. It's very likely that you're watching this video just because of it. It is the YouTube algorithm. One, two, three, four. Many YouTubers speak of it as if it's some sort of deity. A god that's sometimes gracious, sometimes cruel. For some, it's pure magic. Let's take a closer look at this algorithm and answer some of the big questions. What is an algorithm anyway? What does AI have to do with it? And how does the YouTube algorithm work? First of all, we know algorithms from social media. They determine the content we see in our feeds. But what exactly is an algorithm? The term algorithm comes from a name. Muhammad bin Mus al Khwarizmi, or something like that. He was a Persian scientist and one of the most popular mathematicians in the Middle Ages. In Latin, he was called algorithmi, from which the word algorithm was later derived. An algorithm is actually just an instruction. It's supposed to help solve a problem. If, then. An instruction like, if A happens, then B happens, is already an algorithm. But also the solving of a Rubik's Cube can be mastered by an algorithm. Do you know any other algorithms? Write them down in the comments. On YouTube, the algorithm shows your videos according to certain criteria. Simply put, when I search for cat videos, show me more cat videos. When YouTube started in 2005, the internet was not as complex as it is today. YouTube was based on trust and honesty. The ranking of the videos was based on titles, tags and ratings. However, this system was soon exploited. Users tried to gain advantages through tag spam and keyword blocks. You couldn't trust the simple signals anymore. There's one problem. Algorithms can solve complex tasks but they are not flexible and instead deliver the same results for everyone. Therefore, a more individual solution was needed. The Google Group, which owns YouTube, has been using artificial intelligence and machine learning for some time now. Google DeepMind is developing artificial intelligence combined with neural networks. This works similar to a human brain. AlphaZero was introduced in December 2017. Within a few hours, it learned how to play chess, Go, and Shogi. It was considered better than any other software developed so far. AlphaZero learns the rules of the game and then plays against itself for a few hours. Without knowing any human strategies, the AI develops them on its own. In another experiment, the AI even learned to walk independently. Now the question, what does all this have to do with YouTube? Every minute, 400 hours of footage are uploaded to YouTube. A lot of that is nonsense, of course. YouTube has to sort out these billions of videos so that the users see videos that will keep them on the website as long as possible. To achieve this, YouTube uses AI that constantly evolves. So how does the YouTube algorithm work? There is a lot of secrecy surrounding the YouTube algorithm. However, Google published a paper in 2016 which explains how the recommended content on YouTube works. Most of this paper is still up to date. The YouTube algorithm consists of two systems. One finds relevant videos, the other ranks the selected videos and puts them in order. Various criteria are used in the pre-selection of videos. For example, the search history and the user's watch history on YouTube. Age, gender and language are also taken into account. The algorithm checks for videos that were watched by similar users. And finally, new videos that are not older than a week get a small bonus. But there are many other factors. And that's what makes things complicated. The factors are used to pre-select videos with the highest click probability. The system improves itself continuously with machine learning. Once a selection has been made, these hundreds of videos still have to be put in a meaningful order. The main focus here is the performance of each video. It is compared whether a video has been shown to a similar user and whether they clicked on it. And for how long did the user watch the video? That's an important quality feature as well. Also videos from channels that I recently watched are suggested to me. The order of videos that YouTube recommends to you on the right side of the playback page and on the start page is very personal. Each user gets different recommendations. Also, the ranking is tested continuously and changes all the time. That's how the system checks which rankings work better than others. 
Do you want to reach more people with your videos on YouTube? Be sure to check our video on this topic. If you like the video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a thing. Bye and see you next time.